Hello guys, welcome back to Viking Age. The only the only way to succeed in this campaign is pure and simply to conquest even more towns because the um, diplomatic relationship with other nation is decreasing from one turn to the other and soon gonna be at war with everyone if you're not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna definitely have to think of declaring war and uh, expanding. To simply conquering more regions, just as like we did in Paris, for example. Now we're gonna have to think about our next target. First of all, I'm gonna try to take, take these rebels out, and then we're gonna have to attack other nations to expand even farther. And we're gonna see in which direction we can expand. So, time to move on. Cordic, the general, is having an unassigned skill. Now, first of all, let's upgrade him. Strategist. We're still researching, so a little bit more research speed would not be a bad idea. Okay. So I think time is to move on. Now this was the situation here. Decreasing minus three, too bad. Paris, I think, is already being taxed. We're making a lot of money from it from it. Other from other regions. This is where the lowest public order is right now in Provence, but it's actually increasing. Alright, so we're able to move on. Let's go on with the game. This was gonna be here. Yeah, the situation is also looking wonderful. So time to move on. We're already having a lot of money and we're making even more money. And we will make even more money than that. Oh, just I thought, just Pomplonians are... Wait a minute, but they are allies with Gascony. Oh shit, now this is a lot worse than I thought. We're gonna have the whole of the Western Hemisphere at war with us. However, if you're not gonna enter war... Kingdom of Lotharingia. We're gonna decline and break alliance. Nothing is gonna happen because they're not gonna declare war on us or something. We cannot go with war with okay, the Duke of Gascony as well. I mean, this is too much. Just gonna have to wait. Uh, I thought so. I really thought so. Ready for orders. Tax rate. You know, Lotharingia will be taken right away, including these rebels. That means we're not gonna do just nothing right now. We're just gonna wait with this. Their army is right there, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So let's see, with these guys, the relations are deteriorating, but they are still okay. With these guys, are also deteriorating. These guys as well. Akilomo Lotharingia is alone against Gascony and Pamplona, so it's gonna fall for sure. But I think I'm not gonna accept another aggression, so if we're gonna go at war with them, we're just gonna have to concentrate our forces and attack them everywhere. We have a lot of armies that we could send, and that would mean including this one here. So we don't really need it there. Let's send first in Ryan to gather our forces. So they will also come right here. These guys will ride in here. Just want to be close, just in case we kind of stop it, because I'm not going to accept, I'm not going to make another compromise. They're going to attack another of our allies, we're going to go to war with them right away. Although I know they're going to, um, they're going to conquer all of our territories from here to here. But it doesn't matter, we're just going to have to go to war with them, take their towns, plant them, destroy them. So, 
know, this can decrease the public order also in these French regions, but it's not what I can do. We're really going to have to do this. Yeah, I think we're going to make it because we have a couple of armies. As you can see, we have two armies here, one fleet here, another two armies here, another one here, another one here in front that we also send, another two here, so this is really impressive, and another one here, which is going to make it with this garrison. It's not a problem. So, like I said, I'm not going to accept another compromise. Another another provocation like that, I'm going to be at war with Gascony and Pamplon, Pamplonia. We're going to conquer a lot of regions that we have here. And... Yeah, we're just going to move forward, conquer them, raise them, leave them like that, and then attack and take all these nations, free a lot of other nations, and so on. Because there's the, the map is still very big, there's still a lot to do here, so there's nothing else I can do except conquer, conquer, and conquer. <clears throat> okay, we're just gonna leave this because these guys will will deal with uh, will deal with uh, our enemies, Pamplona and so on. We're just going to leave it there. I think they can also try to attack us in here, but we can also kind of leave it. That's not... For the tribe. So General Clut has an unassigned skill. Let's make him have an even bigger public order. If possible. Another noble birth. This is bread. Oh, Gascon has declared war on France. They want to take Charter. That's actually okay. It's actually okay with me. Because we're taking a lot of attrition right now. Alright, so there's nothing I can do actually now specifically. Except upgrading some of our towns because we have a lot of food and we can do this. Such as, let's see where. These regions are already 1% secured. Maybe. No, Dresden also not. Yet. With Augsburg and Fien, that would be enough. Paris things are already looking much better. Let's see, this governor, what's the name? Hivzerk, 21 years old. And then on science skill. So let's see what can we create here. More authority. For the tribe. We're just gonna move on anyway. Let's try to embezzle in, in more funds with one very good family member. Oh, 
win win. We have to put some two guys right here. No one can can go there. Whatever. Then we gotta put one of this one of our guys here. And I'm gonna try with this guy here to base of funds. Obviously, it's gonna make a lot of money. <laughs> Duke of Gascony with Lotharingia made peace and household lost, so there is really no danger right now. Alright, so I guess that's it. I was gonna make other investments, but I'm not gonna make it. Jutland is looking better, the chicken in Marseille also looking wonderful. Ready for orders. They have declared war, but no other wars is started. Right. The order for Gascony is incredibly high here. I actually prefer to bring this army right here in Nantes. Although Nantes doesn't have too many troops. It actually has a lot of troops. It has really a lot of troops. Because we should also send another army to England just in case one of these nations will betray us. But we'll see. Not gonna be easy for them anyway. Take a look at this garrison here, for example. So Zwein has an unsigned skill. This is another 53 years old general. Actually, this is the king. Okay, let's see what can we upgrade. Or is it more cunning? I think this is going to be good. Guthron, another governor can be upgraded. messages oh, that's the decree funds 852 but this is nothing trade agreement result Venice has been conquered by someone by Salerno which is our, our, our allies this is not bad and we're making less money. These guys are having two, four, six armies, and all of them are recruiting a lot of troops. Yeah. It's not looking good at all. Whatever, no, we're not gonna attack them, we're just gonna wait. So Utah, Jutland, Bobby Court is looking much better. We're not going to recruit new units right now. We're just going to wait. See what's going to happen. Actually, oh, they have arrived with four armies. You know, they're going to declare war on us. They could take us right here, theoretically. But if they're going to do so, we're going to start a huge offensive against them. This with our fleet here. We should have two fleets. Maybe I should recruit a new fleet. Yeah, let's recruit a new fleet here, at least to, just to have it there, you know. 
Then an agent too. Ah oh, shit, we have enough agents. Um, let's see what we got here. Corruption. Yeah, he's 23 years old. Oh, no, this one is gonna be better. Yeah, we can recruit a lot of type of ships, Viking ship archers, smashers, heavy riders, and marauders. We need more ships. Ah, it's gonna take too much now. Recruiting more ships for the tribe. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Viking heavy riders, marauders. Actually, Viking he heavy riders, light assault melee. This is, they are the biggest, they are the strongest. We need good, strong Just three ships gonna be enough for the time being. That's right. We really gonna need second fleet, that's for sure. Now this spy can be also upgraded. I come to ask this. Will you stand? So this 50 war, 50 old years old gem can also be upgraded. Let's do so. That's great. Now I have less money, but we're still positive. We have a new fleet here, and we're gonna recruit a lot of new units. Nothing to upgrade there. Ready for battle. The nations are having an army here, but I think I think they don't have any. Yeah, they don't have their their place anymore here. settlement anymore. It's out. Ah oh, shit, in V administration is looking bad now. Let's see exactly. In Bohemia and it's going down. We could accept it from tax, but not now. It's not need to do this right now. And here we still have food shortage. I just, just don't understand how it's forever. Food shortage forever and ever. Whatever. This was the relationship with other nations. It seems it is very, very bad. And is deteriorating with all of them. However, not too much, but still. 
a lot. Anyway, we're just gonna go on with the game. I really want to enjoy this moment of peace that we have, and before we're gonna go to war again against many nations. I'm thinking of attacking France, because I'm sure that they, are, they are isolated, they have a lot of enemies, and it would be important to take that town as ours. We can, all, of course, have to attack with two, um, with two armies in order to take them out and besiege them. It's gonna be interesting to war with France. Will be interesting, but we're gonna take another town. We're gonna make the regional friends with the capital of Paris very, very prosperous. Ah, shit. For the tribe. Now we're gonna leave them inside. Rank the gained. You. How can I help? It's actually okay. Ready for orders. Now we're gonna. Check. Oh shit, they are already besieging it. Too late. <laughs> Absolutely too late. There is nothing I can do to change it. To change this. Our relations are improving with these guys. Religious aversion. Diplomatic marriage with the Kingdom of Wales. Because yes, these nations would like to go at war with each other. Now, if this is going to happen, I'm going to have to send at least one army in England and pacify the, the region there. Let's see if we have any such armies. Yeah, we have one in Paris, another one here. Yeah, and another one here, indeed. But mission this fleet that we're going to also send. And this fleet here, we just have to say where it is. In order to grow a little bit, and then it's going to be sent forward. Where well, the huge public order is here in uh, Hamburg. Is it because of this general governor, which has a huge authority? Pretty cool. I have a lot of um, other Huskards. We have also an incredible influence. Send this guy to seek a wife. I also wonder what's gonna happen if this woman would marry some of this man. But it just seemed to be impossible. Also, the question is what's gonna happen if you gonna adopt one of them? Cannot adopt any of them anymore. So this is something I don't understand. Perhaps Mary? Oh, no secure loyalty. I think this one cannot marry because they are uh, legitimate parts or something. That is actually the problem. Seek marriage, this right? Forty three years old. So they should be able to marry in you know, order not to have any illegitimate ch children anymore.
Yeah, again, it's here. Influence cost 20. Still has a lot of influence. I just don't understand why I can do this. But, whatever. Let's move on. You're 962 AD. The skill of your generals is famous. Can you... Faction destroyed. Characters marry, marry, marry. Control minus two. Well, I don't like this. Let's see, control 24%. Well, let's try to gather more control there with one of our greatest generals. Or support. Oh! One, ex one experience for unit inventory records. Then we should just go on with garrison quarters, fortify settlements, and then warrior ideals. And we're gonna be done with the whole technology in this game. And let's see what else. North Riding Sea. But we still have a lot of money. And this will enable us to recruit even more units. Now this was the public court in other settlements. Now this guy's having seven armies here. You're just gonna have to get rid of them once and for all for good. Now uh, I'm just gonna have to send another army here, and with these three armies, we're just gonna attack them. With this unit of skirmish cavalry. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah, we're gonna still arrive here with these three armies. Gonna try to attack them, but they are all of them. Here I think it's gonna be very difficult, or not, because most of them are taking a lot of attrition. I don't think it's gonna be difficult with three armies, we're gonna completely destroy them, and we're gonna raise them. In the meantime, Kingdom of Pompon are having four armies here, which are pretty good. Look how many Imperial cavalry they have. Which we cannot see anymore. Yeah, we're also making a lot of income in the meantime, this is also very good. I should move forward with these guys. Ready for orders. Okay, the rest seem to be everything seems to be alright. Including here, public order is really good. Unfortunately, Bohemia is going down again. I wonder why events, food taxes, which is differences in characters. Actually, we don't have any character here, no governor appointed. Perhaps that is the problem. The question is, what's going on? What's going on if I gotta take this army out of here? That's gonna be okay, but we're gonna leave them because public order is still doing fine here. The governor has an unassigned skill. Okay, construction cost and tax rate. Another governor. More tax rate. <clears throat> Wait a minute, Kingdom of France still exists. I think they were destroyed. Duty calls. 
23 years old, Bjorn. Probably order. Now, I'm still gonna take this guy here. Natural causes. Political support control 6%. This is exactly what I needed. Now we still have 30% control 1 and 46. 48 of nobles. Now let's put, let's assign a new guy in this stance here as judge. Maybe we could assign one of these guys. Oh, it doesn't seem so. States. This is a judge. Also try to get Mary, I mean, why not? And our king has also got married with a 27 years old wife. You know, divorced, but it's not gonna do this. Which brings more influence for husband. This guy is gonna die soon, that is the problem here. Then possibly there will be a um, rebellion or something. Hopefully not, of course, but you never know. Now let's see what this one can do here. Spread religion. Okay. And I think last time I wanted to attack this rebels here, but we're just gonna have to wait more. So I mean, let's just send them as quick as possible. But I think he cannot recruit right now. This actually can. Spearman. Okay, very cool. Now we got our four, our three forces here. With whom we're gonna attack these rebels and try to take them out. I think they are still recruiting a lot of units. So this priestess could also be upgraded. Alright, and let's see what France is doing. Oh, yeah, they are being... Not sure they have been besieged or what. Oh, this was gonna if we're gonna declare war on them and invade them. Oh, they are allied with Ireland. Now it's too late. Too late. Wait a minute. Ireland is having force here and they are being attacked by Gascons. The Royal Guardsmen. They're not gonna stood a chance. Unfortunately, they still have some armies. Well, more or less a fleet, stuff like that. It's going to still be difficult for them. Now in Salzburg, the situation is looking catastrophic because of food, especially in religious differences. We can still bring this guy here. And we're going to do this. Oh, yeah. Upgrade this boys. Alright. So they're gonna get inside. And try to increase the public order. So I think it's time to move on. Oh no. Irish have been completely annihilated, now the French, I'm not sure what they are doing there. Causes what the bride of disappointed. 
Only good news. I'm so glad about this. Now, it's still going to be minus 5. It's also being taxed. Wait, are we taxing each and every region? No, except Bavaria. Augsburg is not being taxed. But we're going to leave it like that. Now, time to attack here. So, let's go with our units. Hopefully all three of our troops are taking part in the battle. Not only two, but we still have a good chance to win this. So we should just completely annihilate them. Cancel move. We're just gonna have to move forward. Yeah, and we killed in battle. That's right. We're just gonna have to get rid of this as quickly as possible. They just have two armies or three armies or something like that left, but they are, all of them are very poor, so it should be easy to deal with them. So we're gonna attack them next turn and get rid of them, and then we're gonna get our attention towards the French, and we're gonna try to take them out. Although they could attack in onions, but I don't care. This is what they got, actually. Just a few troops. I don't really think they're gonna attack, but we're gonna be able to attack them. Also attacking by your, but we're gonna go after them. Although I I said we cannot attack the French because they are at war. They are allied with uh, Irish. Let's see who actually can we attack. Actually, no one, nobody. Actually, Kingdom of Lotharingia. They have treaty agreements with us. But they are at war with Pamplona, and we could Be also attack them and, and take their territory, which will bring us speed, more uh, more money and stuff like that. If we're gonna take this region here, the Kingdom of Lotharingia, because we're gonna let's see what's gonna happen, what we're gonna get. So, no, nah, nothing more except taking some two more settlements here. But I think we're gonna do it. Although other nations will see this. That is a good sign, but I don't really care. So let's go a little bit closer. Also take our army from Rhyme. And leave an army in Paris. And two armies here. This is perfect. This is just perfect because our empire is now secured. We're going to declare war on Lotharingia, take these two towns, finish them off, and then we're going to attack other nations. We will see who will attack. It's going to be a huge clash. <clears throat> the Lord shows his displeasure no. at our association. I'm not going to do it. Not with you. Are they attacking us? Oh, disease outbreak. It's gonna be even worse because there's also this food shortage bullshit. Just as we have here at our capital. Okay, so another general can be upgraded. 27 years old. construction bullshit or authority I think is going to be very important for this man right and time to launch another attack here oh they are besieging this settlement question is why wouldn't I besiege it Get moving. just as I thought <laughs> just gonna flee now the town is not being attacked anymore, but we'll still attack here. Two against two, and we're having pretty decent chances of taking it out. Although we're gonna lose a lot of men, that's for sure. But it doesn't really matter. 
These guys have treated. Just go after them. Unfortunately, we have lost a lot of warriors, but we're still gonna attack them next turn. And we're gonna finish them off here. Two enemies have been killed in battle, unfortunately we're making less money now. All of a sudden. Yeah, and like I said, we're gonna take them out next uh, next turn. I wonder why is the integrity here low? Because of characters, minus two foreign soil. So we're gonna have to move from here. But they got they might have another rebellion here. We should just see that. But like I said, I would also like to declare war on them. I'm gonna take Basel and stuff like that. They don't have nothing anyway. They are very poor. Uh, this was the situation here. It's not looking good at all. We could, of course, upgrade this town to bring even more public order. Let's just do it. Gonna need it. <clears throat> we should just try to declare war Kingdom of Lotharingia and take them out. Although this is gonna decrease our relation with other nations, but I don't really care about this, honestly. Oh, they, are, they have another two armies. This is unbelievable. And we can upgrade this uh, assassin. What can we actually upgrade? He's really upgraded a lot anyway. Principal of Southern Duke of Burgundy are at war. It's going to take a lot. So yeah, let's get rid of them. They kind of flee. Yeah, I didn't really expect them to flee that much. Wait, time to attack. These guys, they, I think they're gonna... Uh, just like I thought. Anyway, we're gonna go after them. Everything we got. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take them next turn. Does they are recruiting anything or something? There will be another rebellion here. This was the relation with Kingdom of Lotharingia that we got right now. Yeah, it's deteriorating. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna leave it deteriorating. I don't care. Ready for battle, warriors all. Ready for battle. I'm gonna get them down. They are having standing a lot of um, rebellions. We're gonna really have to declare one of them as quickly as possible. This is very important. Thirsty for battle. You know, this general could be upgraded. Basically, more authority, more tax rate. More cunning. Now the governor can be upgraded. More public order. Yeah, it is indeed a lot of public order what he had there right now. I can go out with this guys, but just gonna leave them still. I'm sure that you will agree with our wisdom and see the no. It's out of question. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to war with Irish. So I think the French will be destroyed now.
I don't know what they did there. Which any imminent, I don't think so. Okay, we're just gonna wait another turn and then we're gonna declare war on them. Just go a little bit closer. We're not taking any attrition here in the woods because these guys are Vikings. The Vikings are taking no attrition in the woods. So the French are still there. But they're gonna be attacked by Gascons next turn for sure. We're just going to wait another turn, then we're going to declare war on uh, Lotharingians, and we will attack them, of course, to take their, those towns out. For the tribe. Now, this is what we got here. Sigur is a general. This is to be extremely poor. Now, these two things are actually good. Loyalty minus two, but loyalty is still ten. I've got this woman, Torvi, or whatever her name is. Yeah, and another governor that can be upgraded. Now we're making a lot of money, one of a sudden. Oh, they are being, the French are being attacked now. There will be a huge battle, I think. No, it hasn't been. Strength can be Pomponians will add a non-aggression pack. And between peoples. We and feel that war we could with... Be better friends. No, actually. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do in war. This is actually what I wanted. Uh, this system for a lot of money. Formal cooperation, brokered in good faith by honest men, would be of mutual advantage. But I have accepted. Whatever. I know that at one point I still gonna have to go to war with them, but first of all, I just want to expand as much as I can before we're gonna really go to war with them and take their settlements. Right now, suddenly, we're having less money. But we can... Oh, yes, we're at war, I know. We can take the town of Besancion. And occupy it. There's here. Got three guys. I'm just gonna occupy it as well. I, I really want to keep these provinces as well. Um, I'm gonna let them tax. They are different provinces. So, first of all, I'm gonna do this. We'll destroy it to increase the public order as much as we can through everything, growth, and stuff like that. Here, we're gonna have to repair it and then convert it, so it's not gonna repair from, its, from itself.
faction destroyed already. And we gained some experience with these two channels, but not with our king, unfortunately. That's right, they're gonna replenish faster. So we have secured another two towns. This is actually what I wanted, what I was looking for. For the tribe. Literary traditions, more morale. It's actually good. Now we're having also more food but less money just now, but we've gonna um, develop these regions, we're gonna have a lot of more money. As it was the relation with other other nations here. Oh my god, it's looking terrible. It is looking really terrible with some other nations. I'm not even sure if we attack theoretically. I would really like to attack Kingdom of Clona, which now we're having no relationship with them is going much better. No is deteriorating. They're all with France and Italy. Relation with these guys are improving. And we're only with Gascony. Whatever. Yeah, this was the situation here. Actually, it's improving with some of the nations, but with others, it's deteriorating. Dislikes the Welsh and aggressive. The situation is looking better. Sit, friend, and let us talk. And let us have now, let's see what can we do we here. Talk no more. Oh, wait a minute. No, no cancel. No puppet state cancel. I don't want this. Not working. Whatever, okay. So I guess um, this is it for now. We are doing very fine here with our developing development everywhere, actually. Warriors all. Every region we're doing actually very fine. The question is what to do next. So it seems that we're, just, we're having here another rebellion that perhaps is not going to succeed. Just in case it's going to succeed, we're going to send our forces to try to take Trier as quickly as possible. In the meantime, we're going to try to secure this region first. At least a little bit. Take a look at Pomponian or something. How many armies they're sending. Yeah, we're just gonna try to take another region. The question is which which region shall we take or attack? We could theoretically attack right here, although I think this is too far away. We could try to attack Duke of Spoleto and because they don't have too many regions here. And uh take their settlements, the whole provinces here, try to secure them. And at one point, of course, we got to attack also Kingdom of Pamplona, which are having, I'm sure, a lot of armies, that's for sure. But not now. Yeah, as you can see, they really have an incredible number of armies. And fleets. So many emeralds and stuff. They also have huge territory, the whole of Spain, which is so rich. And they also have these Gasconians. But we will see, you never know what is going to happen, so we just develop very carefully. I'm sure this is the... I think this is the... Faction higher, I think. 28 years old. Which is, in, is actually... Um, um, his um, illegitimate birth is a bastard, but he is still... In terms of having children minus 10% is still um, faction here. So just leading this army here, which is a very poor army. But I, I don't care. In fact, I enjoy risking him to attack or to lose him because if he's gonna die, it's gonna be better for the Empire. Now, this guy is not being married. This is very strange because the wife has died. Just a sick wife. It's gonna cause some influence, but I don't care. So you could also seek wife. Alright, and this guy is having only two children right now. He's married to a 28 years old woman. Also seek wife. Is it 
too unexperienced. This one too. Uba. We have so many family members, it's really interesting that the family tree is so expanded, so developed and stuff like that. This is really a very good thing, I guess. And also having a lot of Oscars, candidates and so on. One of them is governor here, but he's having good loyalty here. So this is really good. Zoom to location. Uh, in Ghent, he is governor in Ghent. He is Hitzwerk. Also having some trades, he's very young. But he's also having a huge authority and stuff like that, really is very capable. Well, I would prefer to put one family member as, uh, as a governor, but now it's anyway too late. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen next, so thank you very much for watching guys, and until next time, bye bye.